Gordon's whistle. Gordon was cross, very cross. Why should that Henry have a new shape? A shape good enough for me is good enough for him, surely. He goes gallivanting off to crew, leaving us to do his work. Oh, it's disgraceful, it really is. It's disgraceful. It's not good enough. And there's another thing. Henry whistles too much. No respectable engine ever whistles loudly at stations. It's not that it's wrong to whistle at stations, but we just don't do it. We just don't do it. Poor Henry didn't feel happy any more. He said, Oh dear, shh, oh, oh dear, shh, oh dear, shh. But Percy said to him, Never mind, Henry, I'm glad you're home again, and quite frankly, I like your whistling. Oh, thank you, Percy, shh, thank you, Percy, shh. My friend, shh. Next morning, Gordon was leaving the shed and he called out to Henry. Goodbye, shh, Henry, shh. Goodbye, shh, Henry, shh. We are glad to have you with us again, but be sure and remember what I said about whistling. Now, don't forget. Shh. Later on, Henry took a slow train and presently stopped at Edward's station. Edward said, Oh, hello, Henry. You look splendid. I was pleased to hear your happy whistle yesterday. Oh, thank you, Edward. Thank you. Shh. Thank you. Shh. Can you hear something? Edward listened and far away, but getting louder and louder, was the sound of an engine's whistle. <coughs> Edward said, Well, it sounds like Gordon, and it ought to be Gordon, but Gordon never whistles like that. It was Gordon. He came rushing down the hill at a tremendous rate. He didn't look at Henry, and he didn't look at Edward. He was purple in the boiler, and whistling fit to burst. <coughs> he screamed through the station and disappeared. Well... What do you think of that, Henry? <laughs> it isn't wrong to whistle, you see, but we just don't do it, eh? <laughs> and Henry told Edward what Gordon had said. Meanwhile, Gordon screeched along the line. <coughs> People came out of their houses. Sirens started. Five fire brigades got ready to go out. Horses upset their carts, and old ladies dropped their parcels. At the big station, the noise was awful. Gordon went on whistling and whistling and whistling. <coughs> Porters and passengers held their ears. The fat controller held his ears, too. He gave a lot of orders, but no one could hear them, and Gordon went on whistling. At last, the fat controller clambered into Gordon's cab. Oh, take him away! Take him away! And stop that noise! Oh, dear! Oh, dear! Poor Gordon. He couldn't stop whistling, and he puffed. <laughs> 
sadly away. He whistled as he crossed the points. He whistled on the siding. He was still whistling as the last deafened passenger left the station. Two fitters came and climbed up onto Gordon, and with a hammer they knocked his whistle valve back into place. And there was silence. Gordon slunk into the shed. He was glad it was empty. The others came in later, and Henry said quietly, and to no one in particular, uh, It isn't wrong, you know, but we just don't do it. <laughs> no one mentioned whistles. 